Hey yo, what's up folks? Today we're gonna be talking about the fake advanced training ground because there is no advanced training ground in Arena Breakout. I wish they would implement the infinite version at least into the mobile version. Um, it's not, it just it doesn't happen. We've been begging for an advanced training ground, right? The whole community was asking for it, but we got a lovely mind map and we got tons of events for which I usually don't even have time because I was playing the loot derby, but then we have the fortune seeker and then we have something else and then we have the regular game modes and forbidden and whatnot, but we still don't have an advanced training ground. So Arena Breakout team, if you're seeing this, this is my message in the name of the whole community to you. I'm begging, begging you for an advanced training ground. I'm begging. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop because I think viewers don't tell me, but they simply hate if I sing. Rap is like, okay, but singing is like, ah, don't do it, Shady. So guys, we got the message. Hopefully it goes through to the arena breakout team, but for the temporary time until we have the advanced training ground, there's still something I can offer and I've been doing actually and trying myself on how to train without risking too much. I'm not saying that you don't need to risk anything, but you need to risk just a little and then it can help you to become better at the game. And I'm gonna offer two game modes, actually one game mode, normal game mode and two maps farm and port and you're gonna ask that mm, okay i've been playing those maps and you know why is that a training so i'm gonna tell you the mindset okay you're gonna dress up into t3 you don't even need t4 and what you want to do is to focus purely on kills okay so i want you to enter the game and without looting don't loot the drawers don't loot anything don't start running towards the safe don't spend time on this unnecessary thing called looting. You want to put yourself straight into action. And there are two types of actions or threats or types of enemies, bots and players. So for bots, don't just run to them and knife them. Try to kill them in a way how you would kill an enemy player. And by that, you're going to practice your aim, okay? And players like, yeah, like, 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 that's pretty obvious. Like, try to kill them and then survive. And the big, huge difference, guys, is that in my proposed way of playing the map, you don't care about loot. You don't care if you die. You don't care about losing. This is not gonna be about having gear fear and stuff like that. This is like real environment. You're not risking much, but you can gain a lot by actually facing real bots real enemies real players you enter the map you check the spawns near to you and if there is nothing happening you start moving to the middle of the map and sooner or later especially on port you're gonna you're gonna face players and the only goal you should have is to stay in the map for as long as you can and if everybody else on the map is dead and you are the last one alive, then you can say that this was a nice training session and then I allow you to leave the map and start a new game. Obviously, if you kill an enemy player who has better loot, like some kind of useful guns and, 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 and armor, then obviously pick it up, but it shouldn't be priority. It should be that even if you do a kill, you will never want to instantly check that body. You will want to check like the surrounding, make sure that nobody else is around. And after quickly searching the body, you just want to move on and find the next action, the next fight. And then this is how you're going to improve. And I, I, I can tell you that if you're going to survive port, like every second time you play the map against you know, players and bots and also covered ops, obviously, like those are in the players category. If you're gonna survive, then you're actually good. And don't just sit in one of the corners. So that, that's not fair. You're gonna cheat on yourself if you just sit in a corner and rat. This is not what we wanna do. What we wanna do is to run around on the map and try to kill everybody who we are facing. That's it. All right, guys, let's talk about the money part. So let's switch to serious just a tiny bit because obviously what I'm proposing is not free. Uh, it's gonna cost you approximately 
30 to 50,000 per game to do a training session. Maybe a tiny bit less, depending on your choice. But if you consider this as an investment, then you are actually not losing. You are investing, let's say, 500,000 coins to have 10 sessions, 10 games where you can just simply practice without having to worry about your gear, without having to check all of the safes and drawers, without having to extract. I mean, it's not necessary to extract. You can actually play until you die. And eventually, this is gonna also help you guys if you have gear fear, because if you know that you are allowed to lose your stuff, then you're gonna have a different mindset and then you're gonna play according to that. So keep that in mind, it's like practicing multiple things at the same time. And it's not just about shooting, you can practice nading, you can practice peeking, you can practice uh, body bait and all kind of juicy stuff. And if you're gonna say that we had exactly this in the loot derby for free, then I'm gonna say that you're wrong. And you are wrong because in loot derby, everybody had free loadouts and you couldn't keep anything you had in your bag you just you know got points but in farm and port you're gonna face real people who don't want to lose their stuff and therefore they will be more cautious they will be more anxious they may have gear fear and stuff like that so it's different it's completely different and I have no clue, guys, if you could pay attention to what's happening in the background. So do you feel that these type of videos where I talk about something, you know, and I articulate and all kind of stuff, and there is gameplay in the background, can you pay attention to me and to what I'm saying and also watch the gameplay? Or should I come up with a different format? I would really appreciate if you gave me feedback so I can become an even better arena breakout content creator. Let's go! Try this method, um, sacrifice some coin into this and then let me know if it worked out for you or not. Shoot, loot, subscribe, see you in the next one. Bye.